Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and thank you so much for being here. The phrase feeling burned out has been recurring more frequently with the rise of awareness of job satisfaction and self-care. We all tend to feel burned out from our jobs and activities at one point or another. But how do we know if we are genuinely burned out or are just lazy? Burnout can cause many long-term problems for people in the workforce and can be caused by many factors such as being overworked, low pay, and lack of support or consistent poor treatment from superiors. Many things can lead to being burned out, but sometimes the signs and feelings of being burned out can overlap with laziness. In this video, we're going to explore a few signs you're burnt out, not lazy, so keep watching. Burnout and chronic stress may interfere with your ability to pay attention or concentrate. When we are stressed, our attention narrows to focus on the negative element that we perceive as a threat. In the short term, this helps us deal with the problem at hand, but our bodies and brains are designed to handle this in short bursts and then return to normal functioning. When stress becomes chronic, this narrow focus continues for a long time and we have difficulty paying attention to other things. This fight or flight tunnel vision can negatively affect your ability to solve problems or make decisions. You might find that you are more forgetful and have a harder time remembering things. Lazy people may dislike their job for many reasons, but if you feel that you dread waking up every morning and are finding yourself slowly making your way towards work, you are most likely burned out. People who hate their job will also often start progressively arriving to work later or finding reasons to get out of work. If you are already doing this, you should take advantage of the extra time and start looking for another job before your work reputation is tarnished. In the early stages, you may have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep one or two nights a week. In the latter stages, insomnia may turn into a persistent nightly ordeal. As exhausted as you are, you cannot sleep. In the early stages, you may feel mildly sad and occasionally hopeless, and you may experience feelings of guilt and worthlessness as a result. At its worst, you may feel trapped and severely depressed and think the world would be better off without you. If your depression is to this point, you should seek professional help immediately. Even though you might not be working at a given moment, if you are expending mental energy mulling over your job, then your work is interfering with your ability to recover from all the stresses of your day. In order to recover, you need time to yourself after the actual task stops, and time when you stop thinking about that task altogether. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, something you should know about burnout is that it develops in stages. So all of the points I've mentioned before, such as losing interest and motivation, especially in things we used to love, feeling detached from ourselves and disconnected from everything around us, socially withdrawing and neglecting our self-care, won't just happen overnight. Studies show that there are actually five major stages of burnout, each with increasing degrees of severity. The honeymoon phase, the onset of stress, the chronic stress, burnout and habitual burnout. Many people begin to experience symptoms as early as the second phase when there is still a moderate amount of stress but optimism and stress, motivation and performance may already start declining and by the time you reach the fifth and final stage, burnout has already become so embedded in your life that the experience of mental and physical fatigue become more persistent and harder to treat and you also become more vulnerable to developing depression and anxiety. 
If you have found this video helpful, then please give a thumbs up and share it with those whom you think can really benefit from this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.